Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 13 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. And today's farm is upgrade to dynamic layout. Hmm. Mm, no, I'm okay. Uh, all right, today's farm is actually 135 candy. Uh, I'm about to, uh, I'm like in between half. Okay, let, let's just do this. Sorry, I, I was going to say, um, I'm like half in between sneeze, so I may like just randomly sneeze. But okay, so today's farm 135 candy. Let's take a look at it. Hope everyone's having a good day. I had a good workout today. Uh, so, so I feel great, even though I'm a little tired or a lot tired. I'm always tired. I don't know. I need to maybe prioritize the code at some point. I want to do better, but eh, do I want to do better? That's another story. Anyway, okay. Today's farm is 135 candies, so there are and children standing in a line. I almost said standing in a queue. Maybe that's the British part of me. Each child is assigned a rating value given in the integer array ratings. You're given, you are given candies to these children subject to the file requirements. Each children, each child must have at least one candy. Ch children with higher rating gets more candies than the neighbors. Return the minimum number of candies you have to distribute. Uh, you have to distribute the candies to the children. Okay. Uh, to the neighbors. Okay, I was going to say the orders might not matter, but obviously if there's neighbors, then the order matters. Uh, okay, let's think about this, right? So, each child must have to have, have a candy, right? I mean, the way that I see it, to be honest, is there's some sort of, like, propagating thing. Um, it's either going to... Um, it, it's... You know, we're, we're basically trying to get some structure in, in the uh, the input that we can do. Uh, and, the, you know, two directions we can take it. And I don't know which one's right off my head, which is one is going from, you know, uh, low rating to high rating or high rating to lower rating. Uh, I think it makes sense to do lower rating to go to from low rating to go higher rating just because then... When you go to the higher rating, you know exactly how many candy you need to know for that person because you know the the rate the the number of candies the lo um the people lower than you did right uh I think the the one thing that I might and this actually comes out in example two is to figure out um is to kind of. It's to, it's to do the tie, not even tie, it's not even tie breaking at this point. I was going to say tie breaking, but it's not quite right, right? Because in this case, oh, actually, maybe it is. So higher, so I was going to, I, I, for some reason, and maybe that's just because it feels like a reasonable thing to assume, but I've been making a lot of silly reading errors lately, so, so maybe that's on me at this point, but but th this is basically because this is an interesting answer, right? Because what this is saying is that what we're saying is that if two two people have the same rating, you could still have less candy or fewer candy. So so that's actually kind of eh, unfair, maybe. But eh, well, you know what? These are the rules. But uh, so I still think it'll be going from low to high. But we and if all the if all the ratings are distinct, then we're basically done because you can just kind of. You know, take the max of the left and the right, and then plus one or something like this if they're done. Um, but now, if they're equal, what does that mean, right? Mm. Huh. Like in in a worst case or a uh, 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 more be, uh, worst case, if something like this, how do we do it, right? Well, we're gonna have to give one candy to one, and then we look at one of these twos. But how can we? Do, or maybe we can just do like a BFS from the one, uh, kind of like a BFS, and then this will give it a two. But then maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe I was gonna, to be honest, I was thinking more of a pri initially a, more of a priority queue. In that, in that, you know, like you just get the smallest number every time, and of course that's going to be priority queue. But maybe in this context, maybe it makes sense to kind of have a more of a more 
more of a BFS thing, but I don't even know if that's true. But I think one thing that I would say is that um, I think the initial intuition and observation is still correct, which is that you can go from low to high. Um, but you can actually, if you go go with this BFSE, you know, spreading kind of tech, uh, strategy. Um, another observation that I just kind of noticed is that you don't even need. It's just that if um, if a child has a lower rating than both its neighbor, then it just starts at one, no matter what. It actually doesn't even matter. Actually, maybe even goes the other. Not, I was. Gonna, I mean, it is still true that it doesn't even matter what the rating is. It could be like a hundred, but if you're next to a hundred and one and a hundred and two, you're still getting only one candy. So ugh, you got a little screwed. But hey, it is what it is. But I think the same thing actually holds. Not even if you're less than, but if you're equal to, right? Because here, this two, because it is equal to both its sides. That means that it doesn't have any quote unquote dependency because you, another way to think about it, I guess, is uh, it, now that now that I say all these things out loud, I think another formulation of this problem is actually um, topological sort, and where where you have an edge or a requirement edge, if you have um, if you have a, a a higher rating than them, then you have a dependent edge because you need to know what their their uh, candy count is, and then you have one more than the, both of them, right? Um, and it's just that when I say BFS and like this kind of spreading apart, um, that also is, you know, the, all the edges are going to be only with your neighbors. So that's also why that, like, you could kind of visualize it in both ways. One kind of a BFS, one as a, as a, one as a, a um, topological sort. And I think in that idea, I am just going to do it with topological sort. I think that's just uh, uh, a very easy formulation uh, to kind of think about. And and yeah, and then now we just have to create the dependencies. So maybe it was like a prereqs maybe? I don't know. Uh, or maybe like in degree or out degree or something like this. Uh... Yeah, let's just do, is it out degree or in degree? I always forget, but I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent, per se. It's just a little bit awkward if you're going against the, the uh, terminology. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just do this, right? I was going to write, like, a crazy sip statement, but eh, maybe this is just fine. Um, so, basically, if... Uh, I minus one is greater than zero, and ratings of I is strictly greater than ratings of I minus one. Then, or then we have a dependency. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So our degrees of I we increment if I plus one is less than n, and ratings of I is less than ratings I plus one. Our degrees of i we increment by one, right? And then now we're just doing the um, BFS or oh, sorry topological sort thing. Uh, I'm gonna do it with a Q, and you could do another loop. Uh, I, I'll do another loop just to kind of separate out. Even though, as you can see, there's no other ways to kind of increase. So you can actually just do an if statement here, but that's fine. Uh, so we'll just do the thing, right? And then uh, if our degrees of i is equal to zero, this is very standard topological sort, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I think I, I, I don't know why. I, I, I looked at this sign and I kind of feel weird about it because... Well, it's wrong. It's why I'm feeling weird about it. I don't. I was trying to figure out why I did it this way. I think it's just symmetry reasons that I got, got confused. Uh, a lot of silly mistakes for me lately, to be honest. Like these kind of silly mistakes. That's why I'm just trying to figure out. Um, I think one thing when you notice you're making mistakes, especially if you're making the same mistake multiple times, is try to figure out how, how to kind of figure at least have you know either 
do better, but that's not really actionable. I mean, anyone, you know, uh, but just figure out, you know, uh, guardrails, uh, things that you can do to kind of prevent you from doing the silly things next time. I think some of it's just that because I wrote it, wrote it this way and I had a less than and this is, and then I kind of, I don't know. It's kind of awkward anyway. All right, but, uh, but yeah. So this is standard topological sort. Uh, let's just write candies as equals zero, right? Uh, and we can even actually do, uh, actually, I guess we can just do, just allocate the candies themselves. So let's just do zero. Uh, mm, no, let's just do infinity times n. Right. And then now um, position is q.poplev. And then here, uh, what we want is Yeah, okay, I, mean, I think this is fine. Now, basically, we just look at the neighbors. Um, yeah, so current candy is equal to one, say. And then if uh, I minus, or position minus one is less than zero and ratings of position is greater than positions, uh, what the, ratings position minus one, then if this is greater than that one, then now candy is equal to max of candy and candy of or candies position minus one plus one, right? And then if position same thing for the other side, right? Um, okay. And then candy sub position is equal to candy. And then at the very end, we just have to sum it all up. Uh, this isn't done yet, to be clear, because topological sort, we did the, the, the math, the processing part, and then now we have to relax the, the edges, right? So, if, duh, 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 right? And then now, if the opposite is true, which is if rating sub position is less than or equal to, uh, or I'm trying to, uh, maybe I'm a little bit lazy on this one. Uh, no, this is fine. Yeah, okay. So if they're equal, but if they're equal to, then they're not affected by it, right? Oh, no, then it has to be strictly greater than. Well, yeah, if this is true. Okay, that, but um, the, the reason why I'm a little bit weird is just I thought there'll be more like equal signs in here like but I, but it, it it doesn't belong here here or here which is kind of odd but but I think like it checks out so sometimes if it's odd but correct then it, it still is the answer right uh, but yeah if that's the case um, then we could write out degrees of position plus or minus one in this case we can subtract one Right, um, here position plus one, da, 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 right? Same thing. And you maybe you could either use a Boolean flag or you could just use the fact that it is infinity as not process. But basically, if out degrees, no, that's not true. This is a little bit awkward the way that I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. So then uh, let's just write update is equal to false. Uh, if we update it, then this is true. Up, uh, update it is equal to true. Oh, wait. No, it's not both of these. We just need one of these, right? So so in this case, uh, I'm, I'm being very sloppy. If out degrees of position minus one is equal to zero, then now we can actually enqueue it. All right, and same thing with this one. Man, I am just out of shape, but no big deal. 
Uh, I think now we're good, maybe. Let's give it a spin. Looks good for these two here. Uh, let's just write a couple more. Yeah, and I mean, just bang on the keyboard, kind of. But I mean, I don't think that matters that much, so. Like, we, this is N, right? So I don't really worry about running time. Uh, let's give it a submit. Hopefully we didn't miss a silly edge case, which apparently I did once before. 1261 day streak. Pretty Gucci. Uh, apparently I, I didn't realize I'd done three times before, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, what is complexity here? This is linear time, linear space. I mean, each, each, I mean, this is topological sort. Uh, topological sort in is general V plus Y. Uh, and of course, Y is at most two times V. So this is all V. Um, and of course, V is N. So this is linear time, linear space. And you can also think about it just looking at the code. Uh, for each position, we only pop once. And we only push once as well. Um, because this can only go to zero once, right? So yeah, I'm um, just curious what I did last time. Why is this so much more time? Yeah, I guess I did the same thing last time. <laughs> I even used out degree, huh? Except for I, I, I put it together. Hmm. What is current? Oh, Q. Yeah, huh. Why is that that much slower? Hmm. No idea. Uh, what did I do two times ago? That time I was... Uh... Hmm. I guess this time I just didn't care about what what they equal. That's weird. Hmm. Because I was thinking about so something like this to to start with, to be honest. But but I don't know what happens if they equal. Then you just kind of. Go from left to right. I guess I think this. Eh. I mean, I, I could see why this works. Just, but it feels like a coincidence more than an answer. I don't know. Uh, and then this one. Uh, eh, I guess this one I also did top logical side, but in a slightly weird way. Uh, all right. I mean, I guess I'm pretty consistent, even though I I didn't think about top logical sort this one uh, right out the hand, but. Eh, I don't know. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.